Uh, Margaret and I want to thank everybody for attending today. And I Good morning. Thank all of you for joining us today. We really appreciate it. My name is Gary Dudley. I'm co-owner of SWBC along with my partner, Charlie Amato. Uh, over the years, SWBC has supported many charities and causes. Uh, we feel like this is our moral obligation and a duty for us to give back to the community in which we live and the community in which we work. Uh, today, uh, I find myself asking you for some support, and uh, uh, we need to inform you about a disease that struck that has struck painfully close to home. Uh, Learning that there is a cure out there, but there are some barriers. To, how frustrating is that? Then? Uh, learning that there is a cure and has been a cure is extremely frustrating. Uh, my wife Margaret has learned, has been told by several doctors that she knows more about hepatitis C than they do. Uh, she studies this 24 hours a day. She's two or three, four in the morning, coming to bed every day. And, uh, and with that, the, the, the knowledge that she's gained uh, and the history of all the drug trials and all the various drug companies, uh, we study it, she studies it more than me. I'm, at, I'm up here most of the time, but she studies it every day. Uh, she's learned so much about it, and it is frustrating because uh, back a year ago, Gilead Sciences and uh, Bristol Myers Squibb combined their two drugs, their two oral drugs, I might add. Uh, and in the second phase of drug trials, established a 100% cure for three different genotypes. And those are words that I've learned since, uh, since Margaret has, has uh, become infected. The three major genotypes of uh, hepatitis C had a 100% cure in as little as 12 weeks and as much as 24 weeks. The other drugs out there today, oh, but Je let's go back a bit because Gilead pulled out of that drug trial because they thought they could invent the other half of it that Bristol Myers had and therefore owning 100% of the cure and not just 50% or, or more of the cure. And, uh, and that's the frustrating part. Uh, we have been in touch with about 50 or so people who went through that first drug trial, are 100% cured, and are helping us with to get the, the, uh, the rest of this released to the general public or to the people infected with this terrible virus. Talk about your, your plea for help. You're a person who helped a lot of other people and now uh, it's you that's asking for a little assistance. It's coming home to me. Uh, my wife Margaret was found out she had hepatitis C uh, in, no, in 2011. And afterwards she did so much investigation and she formed a coalition. I helped her with that a little bit, but mostly it's her. Margaret Dudley formed a coalition, HCV Coalition for the Cure, and being, becoming an advocate for the, the cure for HCV. With that, she's uh, in communication with literally thousands and thousands of Americans and people from New Zealand, Australia, and uh, all around the country who are starving and begging for the help of a, to have a cure that does not involve uh, extremely toxic drugs that have been used in the past. And so we feel very strongly that with the help of the nation and Congress and the White House that we can, uh, we can get a couple of these drug companies to come together with their previously proven 100% cure drugs. Through all these months, the things that we've learned and we've reached out to, we've heard from thousands and thousands of people and their stories are just completely heartbreaking. Many times these people treat two and three times with the current therapy and they're left in worse shape than they were before treatment and in, in over half the cases they still have hepatitis C. So when we heard about the uh, cure that Gilead Sciences and Bristol Myers had developed, uh, the whole Hep C community as well as leading researchers and doctors, I mean, we were excited. This was the biggest development in the history of hepatitis C, in an actual cure for the disease. So we were all, it was just unbelievable to us when Gilead said in fact they would not move forward at once. They, if they'd have moved forward back last April, they could have John had these phase three trials completed and these drugs could very well have been on the market already. 
Uh, over a thousand people die each day from this disease and, and they can stop it just by simply going forward with collaboration for a cure for a disease that's reached epidemic proportions. Uh, talk more about the baby boomer population. You said that a lot of these uh, folks probably don't even know that they have it and that if they got tested, the numbers nationwide would be sore. Yeah, yeah, even like myself, when I was tested for hepatitis C, I've been having problems for years. My liver enzymes were elevated, and so my uh, doctor suggested we test for hepatitis C. Uh, and I was shocked. I thought that I was tested for that every year when I went to the doctor, and most people are under you know, that assumption. Uh, now the CDC has actually come out and they have uh, not just recommended, it wouldn't be a mandate, but are telling all baby boomers, that's people born between 1945 and 65, to ask for a one-time test uh, from your doctor for Hep C. And they estimate if you know, the baby boomer population is tested, it could add as many as a million new cases of hepatitis C. So like I said, I mean, it has reached epidemic proportions and these two companies, Gilead Sciences and Bristol-Myers, have the cure. And so we're going to do everything in our power, uh, use whatever means and methods we have to, you know, through uh, uh, seeking out, reaching out to our government, uh, to the Obama administration, the FDA, to help us do whatever it takes to facilitate this collaboration between the two companies. Bristol Myers, you know, have still, they want this collaboration. And, and who wouldn't? Like I said, it's 100% effective without ribavirin or interferon. Uh, the side effects in this trial were minimal or no side effects. So, you know, that's what we're asking for. You've got the cure, uh, you know, you spent all the money for the research. Now that you've developed it, give us access to it. Uh, lastly, just uh, your husband, a very respected businessman in this area. Uh, talk, talk about his plea for help. It's not something that you see from someone of his stature all that often. It's usually him helping others. Uh, yeah, that's true. You know, and I mean, I think, uh, you know, that, that the way this has come together, uh, the way God works in things like this, you know, we've been very fortunate that we do have the uh, support of our community. Uh, and my husband, after we started this coalition for the cure, that was the express purpose of it, just him too, hearing from all of these people, you know, over these long months, I mean, they're, like I said, their stories, I mean, it's heartbreaking, and so, uh, that, you know, that's why that we now in turn are reaching out to our community and in the, in the support of the Texas and the nation, uh, you know, on this issue.